Hey, what up, y'all? It's Young Rick, and welcome to West Side Level, where your mixing and mastering dreams come true. And yes, you have finally made it. Today is our tutorial on mix bus processing. This is the technique that everybody gets excited about. Well, we're finally here. Let's go ahead and just recap what we did. Um, we've mixed, mastered, routed everything uh, with our session all the way down and condensed it all the way down to track one. Then we recorded print track and printed track one as a, a wave file. Then we assigned uh, uh, we assigned the wave file back to track one, and now we were able to turn off all our plugins and we can cleanly do some mix bus processing. And the first thing we want to do, the first thing I'm going to want to do, start off with some mix bus compression. So let's uh, start off by turning on the compressor and just hearing how the session sounds with none of the knobs tweaked, just it running it through our SSL um, bus compressor. This is getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up. I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat. I'm finna shit talk. All right. So we've done some good work already. The mix is sounding very good. Um, it just sounds like it's giving a little bit more. Uh, it's adding some harmonic distortion, um, giving the mix its own little tone and i think uh the more we go ahead and drive this the more we can probably get some thickness out of it so the first thing i'm gonna start off doing is i'm gonna go ahead and push my threshold um uh, and adjust my threshold on my compressor and get it to where we're knocking about 3 db on our uh compressor let's go ahead and do that don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Perfect. So now that I got our compressor knocking around 3 to 4 dB on our compressor, the next thing I'm going to do in that, let's go ahead and actually address the ratio. Um, the ratio, I have a choice out of 2, 4, and 10. I'm going to go ahead and leave it uh, at 4 because I want to hear our compressor, but I don't want it to be too dramatic. Now, as far as the attack and release times, first thing I'm going to do is set my attack all the way slow. Then I'm going to set my release all the way fast. This is going to give the uh, compressor its most transparent sound. Checking out each uh, time to see which one sounds the best. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. All right, now when I'm setting this compressor, what I want you to take note of is notice how when I push my release up to about six milliseconds, our kick drum, I want you to really listen to the kick drum. It really thickens up. And then also notice how when I knock it back down to one millisecond, the kick drum gets a lot more thin. It thins out. So it thins out our mix. So really listen for that. I'm going to set the uh, release time back to one now. Pass is getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up. I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat. I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw that pass. It's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick loose. I'm in the spins acting up. I know they pissed a lot more thick fat kick we can hear a lot more of the little small subtle sounds in our kick drum let's go ahead and start setting our attack now pissed off i told Rick, drop a beat i'm finna shit don't throw that 
All right, so when it came to our attack, I set it at around 10 milliseconds because I noticed um, that when, when I pushed it up to around 3 milliseconds, it started to eat too much of the kick drum. And that's ultimately what I'm listening for um, when I'm using my SSL compressor is because... And the reason I, we're so focused on the kick drum when we're setting this compressor is because that's the main thing triggering this compressor right now is the kick drum. So I don't want to set it to three so it eats up my kick drum. We're going to leave it at 10 milliseconds. All right. The next and last thing I'm going to uh, parameter I'm going to set is our makeup uh, knob. That's going to allow us to gain stage our plugin and we can get that way we can get a good a and b of what our compressor has done to our mix bus with our compressor turned off our signal is po uh, our mix is peaking at a little over 12 db so that's where i'm going to aim for with my compressor engaged perfect so now I have our compressor completely a uh, gain stage and level match with our dry signal. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a, a full A and B. So this is without our compressor. And here is with our compressor. And as you can hear, and, and, and understand that both of these are, we're both peaking at a little over 12 de uh, dB. The signal got a lot louder when we turned that compressor on. The it, it just it, it jumped the whole mix just jumped right in front of us, and that's the effect we want with a mix bus processor. We want to get thickness out of it. We want to increase the um uh we want to in increase the how can I say the weight of the mix, the density of the mix. All right, uh, let's. Now that uh, we've gone ahead and A-B'd our compressor, we can get into our next effect. So what's the next thing I'm going to want to do? I'm going to go ahead and reach for it is because my mind is still f focused on right now adding density to our mixing, adding weight and getting it nice and thick. So I'm going to next reach for some sort of saturation. That could be a tape emulation plugin. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and go with this black box plugin. All this is is a distortion plugin, um, it, ma a master grade distortion plugin, I should say. And the way it works, or the way I'm going to use it, is uh, as you can see at the top, we have a density input and a mix knob. I'm going to go ahead and drive our input knob and, and our density knob. And what that's going to do is add harmonic distortion to our mix. And once I add that, I'm going to use the output knob to gain stage it. And we're going to give it A and B and see if it enhanced our mix. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the big cross. I mean, it's beans acting up. I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat. I'm going to pick off. Don't throw that pass. It's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the big cross. I mean, it's beans. All right, now I've set our um, now I've set our black box plugin, our black box saturation plugin. So what uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and give it an A and B. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, black box so you can hear our signal dry, and then I'm gonna engage the black box. Here's without the black box. Here's with the black box engaged. Don't throw 
that pass is getting picked off. I ain't tryna buy a deuce with the brick close. I'm in this biz acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Shit talk. Don't throw that pass is getting picked off. I ain't tryna buy a deuce with the brick close. I'm in this biz acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. All right, so as you can see, that enhanced our mix a lot. It added thickness, and to be honest, the peak level with the black box engaged was actually um, a little bit quieter than without the black box engaged. So we gained not only uh, thickness with this plugin, but we also earned a little bit of headroom. That's just to be noted. All right, so what am I going to do now that I've thickened up our, um, our th I thickened up our mix? Well, understand the thickness and the density is good, but also dynamics are good. And what we what we just did with our compressor and our saturator essentially was we enhanced our uh, uh the density of our mix, but we destroyed in some way. The, the dynamics of our mix. So what can we do to repair that? This is where I would come in with a final EQ for my mix bus. And uh, the weapon of choice today is gonna go ahead and be the mag EQ. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna try to bring those dynamics back that I destroyed. Now, what dynamic particularly did I destroy in this mix? If you remember earlier when we was using the SSL compressor, I was saying that it was the kick drum that was triggering the compressor. So if the if if the trick if the kick drum is what triggered the compressor, then understand the kick drum is the first thing to get eaten by the compressor. So with that in mind, we're going to use our EQ to bring that kick drum back. All right, we haven't gained stage yet, yes, but yet, but I want to just give you an A and B real quick with our EQ without of our EQ without it even being gain stage, so you can see exactly so you can see an exaggerated, um, uh, exaggerated example of what I was talking about. And uh, remember, we were trying to bring the kick drum back because that's what we lost when we uh, added our compressor and our saturation so listen for the eq bringing the kick drum back and all i did with the eq is i boosted at 40 hertz then i also gave it another boost at around 650 hertz and then i just gave it a little bit of air at uh 20 000 hertz and i did uh these boost in no more increments than of one db now um let's go ahead and give it a full a b this is without the eq um no gain stage this is with the eq no gain stage Pass is getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick close. I'm in this biz acting up. I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat. I'm finna shit talk. Shit talk. Don't throw that pass. is getting picked off. All right. So as you can see, that brought the that brought a little bit of life and energy back to our mix after we've done so much compressing and squashing to our mix. And understand that this is not mastering what we're doing right now. This is simply mix bus processing. This is something that the mix engineer is responsible for if it's even necessary. Because sometimes mix bus processing isn't necessary. It's completely okay to leave the uh, mix bus dry sometimes. No effects at all, no compression, saturation, or EQ. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and gain stage our EQ back to a little over 12 dB. Don't, don't throw 
that pass is getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick holes. I'm in these bins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Dog, don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick holes. I'm in these bins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw that pass, it's getting all right, perfect. So now that I've gotten the EQ gain stage, let's go ahead and give it a gain stage to AB without the EQ. Don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick holes. I'm in these bins acting up, I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat, I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. This is with the EQ. Mag EQ. Mog EQ, I'm sorry. That's how it's pronounced. Mog EQ. Pass is getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick holes. I'm in these bins acting up. I know they pissed off. I told Rick, drop a beat. I'm finna shit talk. Don't throw. Perfect. So now that we've set our EQ and we've brought our dynamics back with also giving density and thickness to our mix, we are completely finished with our mix bus processing. Is there more you can do? Is there more techniques that can be done? Yes, but this is one mix and all techniques can't be explored on this one mix. It calls for certain particular things. I just wanted to show you guys an example. So after I'm done with all of my mix bus processing, this is the stage where I would actually get ready to start mastering our session. And that's what we're going to go ahead and get into on the next episode um, of the West Side Level podcast. Like how I said, if you're becoming more of an expert, if these tutorials are helping you out, go ahead and give me a like. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And like always, subscribe. Y'all niggas be smooth, gone.